Good evening, partner. Andiyan yung mga early birds, no? Good evening. O nga, nakakatawa uh, talaga eh. Yung mga nandyan sa, yung kaibigan natin na nasa KL, si Mary Jane. Lai, no? Nandyan siya. Early bird. Elwood Torres. Si PJ Veloso. Ayan, mga early birds. Gusto kayo in the moment you press live eh. May viewers agad. Oh. Si Tian Tian Salazar. Parang every week sila sila yung mga early birds eh. No? Mm-hmm. Yung pattern. <laughs> Naka ano na yan? Nasa calendar na nila yan. <laughs> Siyempre, guest natin last week. Nandyan siya ngayon si Miss Jazz. Siyempre. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, si Miss Tina Castro from uh, mm-hmm. Las Vegas. Si Adoni Agustin from Clark, Pampanga. Salamat po sa inyo sa patuloy niyong uh, panonood. Mm-hmm. Every week, every Tuesday, we're excited to we always look forward to being with you, you know, virtually but you know physically distant but uh, socially connected tayo. Mm-hmm. Si Mr. Onel Salangsang from Valenzuela is also watching. Thank you very much, brother. Kahapon, no, I was uh, in uh, the Valenzuela City Hall. Mm. I was with mm. I was with uh, Mr. Uh, of course the Mayor Rex Gatchalian. So, maraming mm. salamat po, Mayor Mayor Rex, no, sa inyong suporta sa business community sa Valenzuela and uh, and particularly sa Buffalo Swings and Things. Pinatawag niya kami kasi we made the uh, some ano no some donations for the frontliners malit lang naman but no he was uh, the, what was exciting about it was the sharing of insight it's very always always ano you know always exciting to share insights with a ano rene eh, kumbaga very learned you no know? very young pero napakadaming mm-hmm. wisdom maraming wisdom sarap ka usap so inabot kami mga isang kalahating oras <laughs> about restaurant industry pinag-uusapan ha eh? So nakakatuwa. Because his brother actually is uh, Congressman Wesley uh, mm-hmm. West uh, Gatchalian is uh, mm-hmm. the ano committee chair of uh, trade and industry. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. So yan, may mga pinagkwentuhan kami tungkol sa industriya ng restaurant. Yes. Carmela Jane Domingo is also watching. Maraming salamat. Si John Eldrick nang so yung mga guest. Yung mga <laughs> guest last week, nandito na sila Dito ngayon. Dito na, oo. Uh, classmate oh. Arnold Regalado bibigyan ka ng award ni Ma'am Sining ngayon early bird ka <laughs> early bird uh, ito mga ano naman to kaibigan tunay Leo Alvarado and of course my sister Maria Teresa Catador na is watching also mm-hmm. ay salamat po sa inyong pag uh... maganda tong na-invento natin na ano eh no? five minutes na batian for sure bago tayo magsimula oo Awa sabay oras natin pagdating yes, ng oras natin alas 8:30. Na tayo. Ayan, in punto, alas 8:30. <laughs> Oo, oh, alas 8:30 ng gabi po at babatiin natin mura sa Land Down Under. Last mm. week nag-aapo na Jace po siya. Sabi niya, pare, sorry, late ako. Si Donald Tenorio. Oh. Sa mga naging guest natin. No? Gusto ko yung mga Tapos, guest natin. Sila yung talagang nanonood yes, lagi. So, nag-ahatak yan. And then si Lance, nandito na rin. So good evening po sa inyong lahat. Magandang magandang gabi po. Isa na namang exciting Tuesday evening. At ngayong gabi talagang ano eh, no? ibang level tong discussion natin. Oh, oh. Ibang mm-hmm. level tong discussion natin because we brought in subject matter experts no? yes. to the next level. No? Yes. Mamaya, hayaan natin uh, makilala ng ating mga bisita yan. But for mm-hmm. now, let's talk about the past episode. Nag-enjoy ka ba? 
Yes, sobrang nag-enjoy. Actually, natutuwa nga ako that they're also tuned in kasi pag-uusapan natin sila. <laughs> Actually, natakot sila. <laughs> natakot sila nagla. Actually, maganda yung episode 7. Especially, we thank all of you for your very positive response as well as yung mga bago nating joiners. Kasi nakita natin ang dami nag, um, nag-join sa The Resto Coach because we opened it up to an, an, another industry. But we do know and we have illustrated how interconnected the industries are. So that's actually one of the um, top three takeaways natin, that how business businesses are interconnected, di ba, Coach? Mm-hmm. No, hindi, lang, hindi lang interconnected in terms of, ano, no? in terms of, uh, in terms of yung relationship sa industriya, kundi interconnected in a, in a deeper sense because yung livelihood yung binag-uusapan how suppliers are how our suppliers are actually common suppliers you know how the whole ecosystem of the food industry is related dun sa bitu ka rin ng uh, events industry no and uh, mm-hmm. catering industry and all of us shared the, of course the unfortunate uh, impact of uh, covid-19 but you know but the good thing about this is we also shared the learning no we also shared the uh, the ano no the improvements no yung mga realizations and uh, iga nga yung mga positive things that we picked up also from dealing with the crisis yes definitely and in terms of collaborations more and more collaborations are becoming um yung 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 term yon na ayun co-op competition yes yon yun yung nagiging um prevalent ngayon ngayon ang second point natin was importance of a remarkable experience na hindi siya natatanging sa restaurant industry lang Importante rin siya especially sa events because ang ang favorite kong lagi nilang sinasabi is yung I make dreams come true. Kumbaga sila yes, yung mga genie yes. na parang um you you get married once, you make that memorable experiences one for the books. Ganun pa rin at they they remain very optimistic despite the the crisis. Yes, Bakos. only a few people enjoy the privilege of getting married more than once. So yung <laughs> So, so yung mga once in a lifetime opportunities, no? Sabi nga nila merong uh, first birthday to 100th birthday, no? So mm. mga centenarians, no? Apaganda ng kwento because true enough, no? Siya sabi nga natin how important the the both industries are, no? Hindi lang sa pag-create ng uh, economic impact, but more on the emotional, no? Emotional and social impact of both industries, restaurants and events sa buhay ng tao at na particularly ng mga Pilipino. Mm-mm, agree tayo dyan. Actually, ma-spell ma- out natin further because yung mga guests natin later will be able to share us their insights in terms of the voice of the consumer. Um, stay tuned, ha? sobrang importante ito. And then the third and final point from last week would be the individual and the collective accountability in terms of dealing with the crisis. Kasi, syempre, in terms of safety and health, hindi naman pwedeng iasa natin sa iba yan. Kailangan, we have to be careful of our own as well as taking care of others. Well, yun yung, in mm-hmm. fact, yun yung uh, pinupush talaga natin dito sa, ano, no, sa The Resto Coach. No? Uh, sabi nga natin, nung nagsimula tayo, the genesis, ito yung pinanganak nung COVID-19 quarantine period, no? the lockdown, no? both in Malaysia and the Philippines. No? Mm-hmm. Kaya nabuo. So isang magandang bagay na nabuo. Kaya ito nabuo, is yung sinasabi nga natin that we realize our individual and collective accountability. No? Uh, from a feeling of helplessness, we want to help people move from that stage to empowerment, no? empowerment to empowering others. Yes. Di ba? Napakaganda ng transition natin. No? Tayo mismo, bilang mga host na itong show na to at yung mga nagiging guest natin at mm-hmm. yung mga nanonood sa atin, pare-pareho tayong pinalaki. No? Uh, you know, uh, sa English, no? we grew and we became more mature with this crisis no yung mga challenges no kasi there are two ways to respond to a crisis it's either you really feel out of ano no out of uh, ikaw nga out of luck and uh, po- focus on the negative or you can respond to the challenge and from from being helpless sa simula naman ganun talaga because it's a calamity no of some sort mm-hmm. no? of, of, you know uh, unheard of proportions no sabi nga natin unprecedented you know unprecedented sabi nga mm-hmm. sa english no but but you know it's a decision that we have to make and nakakatuwa na ngayon nasa episode 8 tayo oo nakita natin yung pag ano pag adapt pag adapt ng mga tao sa crisis no mm-hmm. and it's again individual 
and collective accountability. Hindi natin pwedeng hindi pwedeng umasa, hindi rin pwedeng hindi makipag-collaborate at hindi tayo makialam. Kailangan tayong Mamaya, mas ayaw kong i-preempt, eh, no? pero yun yung isa sa mga points na gagawin natin, mamaya, na doon sa sagot sa tanong na is it safe to go out. Ayaw ko muna i-preempt yung sagot because dapat yung mga guests natin ang sasagot. Yes, speaking of guests at speaking of power, yun ang sinasabi natin, heavy guts ang ating mga speakers of today. So, um, I, I, I have the pleasure of introducing our speakers. Uh, first would be Germin Espino, the President and CEO of Acreo Business Consulting Incorporated. John Maxwell, Certified Speaker, Trainer, and Coach. Um, he's a career executive with an expertise in strategy formulation, brand development, operations management, and corporate training. Wow, and daming experience. 30 years of experience in the food industry. Gusto natin mga kwenta niyan mamaya. And the business coach of startup and growth company. So he's really perfect as a um, speaker for our, our program. Next would be um, Martin Xavier Peñaflor. So Martin is a chief architect, founder and CEO at Acquisition Apps Incorporated. So sila yung team behind Tangere, the Pinoy survey, survey with prices. Nakikita ko ngayon sa Facebook to medyo Kandaya making their waves. Uh, uh, 12 years exp um, business process consultant for SMEs and large enterprises across industries here and abroad. So sobrang swak silang dalawa kasi they're really speaking to the perfect market because yun yung market ng ating the rest of coach. Um, he's a highly decorated and multi-certified uh, multi SAP consultant. And Tang Here, as I mentioned kanina, na making waves, was named CNN Final Pitch Season 4 winner, 2019 Asia Leaders Awards Startup of the Year. So, wow! Talagang... Husay, ano? Husay, husay. Uh, so, uh, no? Na yung mga bisita natin talagang level up. So, level hindi up. Lang, hindi rin just-just ang coach and share, ha? Ah. I know, right? Hindi na just Mga level <laughs> ng guestings natin ngayon. John no? Max. Well, at saka mga CNN, ganun, no? Oh, ganun na yung mga leveling natin dyan. Yes, so we welcome you our speakers of the day. Yeah, pwede nyo na pong iyon ang inyong mga videos. Yeah. Ayan, para makita kayo ng ating mga tagapanood. Sir Romel, thank you for having me share. Thank you for inviting us here. Yes. Salamat, Sir Romel, Miss Cheryl. Oh, yan, sir na sir, ang datingan. No? <laughs> Kaya kami, Sir, Jermaine and Sir Romel, because galing po kami sa kaharian ng Jollibee no sa Jollibee po kasi ang tawagan talaga diyan sir ma'am no regardless of position kinikwento nga ni Sir Jermaine kanina sa atin di ba na kahit yung may-ari ang tawag sa amin noon sir no ito maganda no bago of course babati siya no bigyan natin sila ng pagkakataon <laughs> bumati sa ating mga tar pero gusto ko rin no sana sa pagbati ni Sir Jermaine sa ating mga taga-panood I want him to tell the story kasi Resto Coach is about diba, inspiring the hearts, no? empowering the minds, and equipping the hands of our viewers. So, Sir Jeremy, pag nag-introduce ka ng sarili mo at bumati, pakikwentuhan mo rin sila kung ano mga pinagdaanan mong milestone sa iyong makulay na buhay sa restaurant industry. Sige po, Sir Jeremy. Sir Jeremy, salamat ulit. Ano? Nagkasama kami ni Sir Romel sa Jollibee. Maikling, maikling panahon lang. Pero nag-spend din ako ng mga sampung taon sa Jollibee. Nag-start akong service crew. Kaya enjoy na enjoy ko yun. Nag-dining nag crew, nag-flip na ng burger, nag-luto chicken joys, spaghetti, palabok, hotdog. Lahat yan ang naging... Sir, kami mga unang smartphone eh. Yung store marketing coordinator, nag-host ng party. Eh, no? Enjoy na enjoy namin yan. Sampung anong taon. area ba yan, sir? Sa anong area yan? Colta. Obo Escolta. Oo, oh, dalawang pinagimula lumang Escolta sa sa doon hanggang doon sa bagong Escolta. Then uh, nag-join ako ng Jollibee International sa Vietnam, nagbukas kami ng mara ng isang tindahan doon, meron pang Doon tayo dapat magkasama sa okay. Jollibee Vietnam. Uh, saka sa Romania, pare, Romania. Tama, Romania. Oh. Jollibee <laughs> Romania. Oh. Napunta ka sa Hong Kong, oh, sa Hong Kong. International oh. kami. Ano ni? Ah Blessing yun. Nandun kami ni Romel sa panahon na talagang pabulusok yung ano, no? So, hindi naman siguro na wala na ibang makuhang manager. Kami yung mga dinalun sa Jollibee <laughs> International. Tingin ko dahil, tingin ko dahil mukha lang akong uh, international. Kaya ako... Ah. Uh, <laughs> ako naman mukhang Vietnamese. Uh, <laughs> Vietnam, sak na sak. Then anyway, so after nung Jollibee, nagpagbalik ko rito, nag-join ako ng Dominos International. Doon ko na-meet yung batang-batang entrepreneur si Mr. Brian Chu. Tapos yun pinaano uh, we founded the the 
the famous teriyaki boy like uh, branches. Yun, uh, network of restaurants, no? Hanggang naging sampung branches kami, napansin kami ng Mr. Martin Lorenzo ng Pancake House na acquire yung a big part of the teriyaki boy. And then I was invited to be, to to remain as managing director. Then pinatanganan sa akin ng Densios, yeah, pati yung sizzling pepper steak. Then uh, dinevelop natin yung kabisera ng Densios, no? From Densios, ginawa natin fine dining. Tapos pagkatapos nun, nagpunta naman tayo sa iba rin. I also joined the Kenny Rogers, Seattle's Best. Meron ding labas ng food industry. Nag, naging CEO din tayo ng, ano, ng hospital. So, meron ding mga tinangano na ibang uh, projects as a consultant. Then, gusto maging full-time consultant and, and trainer actually until I uh, became a John Maxwell certified coach about two years ago. And that's what I enjoy doing. No? And what I love doing, sir, is really to, to like yourself, no? to, to coach mga SMEs, yung mga nagsisimula pa lang or nagsimula na na gusto pang lumaki. No, napakaganda ng storya narinig natin. Oh. It's service crew, no? From service crew, no, naging smart, naging sige sa pang nag-service crew ka, ikutan mo yung mga station, di ba? Nang sa nag- naging regular ka na. And then nakita natin yung mga milestones, ano? So yun yung sinasabi natin sa ating mga televiewers, no? Alam mo television pa rin eh, no? Sa ating mga online viewers, no? Online viewers na siya, no? Na, you know, uh we are trying to pay it forward by sharing with you yung mga storya, no? Of how how we, you can make it happen in your own lives, na ba? The transition from being an employee to becoming an entrepreneur is, uh, ikikwento namin siya niya, ishishare namin siya niya. And we, are, we have a lot of people, sabi ko nga, the rest of coach is not a person. It's a movement, no? Like ngayon, nag-guess atin si Paring Martin mm-hmm. at si Sir Jermaine, no? Kasama na kayo sa rest of coach movement, no? We're trying to inspire... Uh, entrepreneurs, no? resto negosyantes, and uh, kahit hindi naman restaurant, the show is not just limited to the restaurant uh, business. Sige, doon naman tayo kay sa isa nating guest na batang-bata. No? Mm-hmm. Para ako nagiging classic tito pag nakasalamuha ako <laughs> ng mga gantong kabata. Na, no? Sir ito Martin, <laughs> oh, Sir Martin, kwentoan mo kami tungkol sa iyong, ano, no, iyong karera. Nakaka-interest yung sinabi kanina na <laughs> yung CNN. No? CNN. Kwento mo nga sa amin yon. And of course, you know, in the same line na gusto nating inspire yung mga tao sa mga storya ng mga bisita natin, kung ano po yung pwede nyo lang pong i-share para maka-inspire sa ating mga aspiring negosyantes. Sige, uh, good evening Sir Romel, Ms. Cheryl, I Sir Germin. Si Sir Germin, isa, isa yan sa mga mentors ko. I'm really Very thankful good. sa kanya. Madami ang magandang input sa nakuha sa kanya. Uh, yung... Tanghere Pinoy Survey with Prices, nagsimula kami noong 2018. Uh, nasa Cebu ako noon. Nagiinuman kami noon. Walang magawa sa Cebu eh. So, isip ko, what if may application na... Kasi so, noong panahon na yon 2018, sobrang toxic ng social media. Kung natatandaan niyo yung panahon na yun. Uh, kakatapos na ng 2016 elections, may masabi ka lang konti, may kulay ka na. Cider, yun, yun yung kulay mo. Mm. So, what if, inisip ko, merong application na pwede mo express yung opinions mo sa key issues sa Pilipinas without any biases. So, doon ako nag-self-study ng Android and iOS development. So, self-study lang. Hindi po kasi ako developer. Okay. Gaya po nasabi ka din sa introduction. Uh, consultant po ako, business consultant for multiple SMEs and large enterprises here and sa Europe. So, ngayon, nag-self-study na po kasi wala kami ginagawa sa Cebu. Uh, after two months, may nagawa po akong application. Yun yung tangit. Eh. Yun yung first version namin. It's more of, for example, pag nakita mo si Presidente Duterte, how do you feel about him? Ang idea ko noon is to have your opinions and yung approval rating in real time. Kasi nung panahon na yun, maghihintay ka pa ng dalawang buwan, isang buwan, mm-hmm. bago makuha dun sa mga traditional players like si... Mm-hmm. SWS and si Paul Seisha. Oops, sabi ko, okay lang ba yan? Wala tayo magagawa. Wala na, nandiyan eh. And then, uh, we, the, we pivoted more of uh, from this app na for politics, we pivoted more into a market research application. So that's where I started getting people to help us out. So kumuha po ako ng mga data scientists. Ako hindi lang po ako market research professional. So, 
kumuha po ako ng market research director na 20 years na sa industry. So, that, yun yung, and yung sales lead ko, yung boss ko dati sa SAP. So, siya yung nag-manage ng business development namin. Yun yung first rule ko eh. So, always get generals na makakatulong sa inyo. It's better than, uh, aminado ko madaming mas magaling sa akin. So, it's better than training people to, to do things. So, mas maganda na yung matututo kasi ibang tao. Sila yung kunin mo. So, we piloted into a market research application. So, noong 2019, so that's where we joined the final pitch competition sa CNN. It's like the shark tank sa Philippines. So, mm-hmm. mag-pitch ka sa mga investors. Si season 4 na po yun nung uh, nanalo po kami. So, uh, spoiler alert na kuha po namin si Mega Global as investor. So, kung nanonood po si Sir William, thank you po sa opportunity again. So, where we are right now, so what we're doing is we're providing market research in real time. To our clients and we're also helping out the community uh, to bounce back during the pandemic so what we're doing now is we're giving away free surveys like for the hotel and restaurant industry now you papakita namin ngayong gabi yung for the food industry so may survey kami na papakita ngayon on yung sentiment ng tao about going out which is yung topic natin today so that's us in a nutshell Oh, natutuwa ako pareho yung mga bisita natin. They are they actually ano no, transition from being employees to consultants and then to entrepreneurs, no. So, mm-hmm. I hope yung mga taga-pakinig natin, no, kanina ang dami nang binitawang tips kagad ng mga bisita natin. Ako nagustuhan ko agad share yung sinabi na ano, no. Get great generals, no. Yes. Ibig sabihin, hindi naman kailangan ikaw latang may alam, no. Correct. Hindi po paramihan ng alam 'yan, no. It's it's mm-hmm. a team effort and patalinuhan niyan in a way na ano no na, and it takes humility ah to yes, to to do oh. that mm-hmm. sometimes yung talagang mahirap yung bitawan yung ating ego so nakakatuwa pakinggan yung success story ng mga taong marunong mag-recognize ng kanilang mga strengths and at the same time yung kailangan nilang mga tao sa paligid nila sige so without further ado ano na ba yung gagawin natin kapatid na share ano bang gagawin na natin next Oo, kay ano na tayo? Um, oh, Martin. Oh. Okay, Martin. Kasi nung nag-start na siya, nabitin na ako agad sa kwento niya. Eh. Gusto ko yung marinig oh. yung, yung, yung story niya on the pitching and then what, what they can offer. Yes. Okay, sige. Uh-huh. Fire Martin. Fire away. Pakita mo na sa amin yung iyong mga presentation so we can answer the question also. Is it safe to dine out? No? Is it safe to dine out? Mm-mm. Share screen na po ako. Yes, sige po, sige po. There you go. Habang nagsishare screen siya, babatihin natin. No? Ah. Kaya siya ka na, Martin, may mga batian portion dito. No? Yung mga, mga magtatampo to, pag di natin nabati. Of course, yung teacher ko na nag-check parati ng attendance, Ma'am Sining, no? sinisipta ka ni Arnold dahil na-late ka daw. Ikaw daw ang wala ka pa dito kanina. Miss Melly Tiu, maraming salamat po. No? Ito mga entrepreneurs din po ito. Miss Salino Tiu, no? Pastor Ali ng... No, uh, Chloe Peña Flor, para mga pamilyar na pangalan ano. Parang ka kapilido ng ating uh, guest no? so, Elmer Divina Gracia, pa-check ng attendance. Ayan, na-check na po. Lorraine Arlante, no. Of course, maraming salamat po. Uh, Brom Naagas, Sinika, Lorraine, Commissioner Chito Hauregi, magandang mm. gabi po sa inyo. No, Angel Baterna, Roel Bowado at yung iba pa po na nanonood, mamaya babati namin kayo. And uh, again, no, we proceed to our question, is it safe to dine out? And our guest tonight is going to discuss his insights. Go ahead, sir. Salamat, Sir Romel. So again, ako po si Martin Peñaflor. So mga nanonood po na members ng Tanghere community for them, ang tawag nila sa akin si Boss Martin. Yun yung persona na na-develop namin. So shout out sa mga nanonood kay Marvin, kay Casey, si Albert. Yung Tanghere community, sila yung laging gumagamit ng app namin. Tanghere kasi sa mobile application, available in Android and iOS. So sila yung weekly sumasagot ng mga surveys namin doon. Uh-huh. Ang office pala namin is in Libis, Quezon City, but hindi na po kami nakakapunta doon. <laughs> work from home. <laughs> yes, forever work. Ay, sana naman hindi forever work. <laughs> right so yung agenda this evening, so kami, introduction lang about the company, and then yung result ng study namin. Held last, I believe this was held last April and then may another study kami na ginawa nung May. So, uh, eto, yung ano ba kami? Kami, sa Tanghere is a survey app na it's where you answer surveys weekly in exchange for 
incentives. Yung incentives, may nakukuha ka kasing points every time sumasagot ka ng survey. So like, for example, pag may points ka, may dalawang gamit yan for our community members. So yung una, DTI registered lahat ng mga, sir, mga raffle draw namin. So like, for example, pwede ka manalo ng cellphone. This week, month and promo namin, trip to Siargao yung pinamimigay namin. But alam namin, hindi makapag-travel ngayon. So convertible siya sa cash. So yung, yun yung points na isang gamit niya. Second gamit ng points sa amin is uh, yung next version na ilalabas namin. So sa mga nanonood po na members ng Tanghere community, sa next version namin, pwede ka na mag-redeem ng points kapalit for example ng digital currency like GCash and Paymaya. Tapos ngay- pag birthday mo for example, bibigyan ka ni Boss Martin ng 100 pesos, 200 pesos. So yun yung mga gamit ng points namin. For our clients naman, kasi sila of course yung uh, si for mga branded service namin, for our clients, so what we do is we provide them with insights in real time. Kasi po, if familiar tayo sa mga traditional market research companies, Mm-mm. normally tatlong linggo, apat na linggo bago ibigay yung data. Kasi manual yan, magtasagot ka ng survey, kukulate nila. Ngayon po, digital yung ginagawa nila, tumatawag sa phone. Pero medyo matagal pa din po. Since kami po, uh, nakalink yung database namin sa data science, so may analytics tool kami na ginagamit, mabilis namin nakukuha yung resource. For example, as of today, ano for example yung, let's say, ang survey namin about yung kay Sharon Caneta, for example. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about yung sentiment mo sa particular issue ng rate? So makikita kagad namin as of today. Of course, there are branded surveys in the app. Uh-huh. So, po. Uh, hi, kay Trixie pala, kay Jane. Uh, makikibati lang din po ako. Okay lang po ba? Sure. No problem. <laughs> members ng community namin, sila yung life and blood namin talaga. So, gaya po yung sabi ko palagi, kopyahin mo yung app, I don't care. But sila yung, I'm really thankful for them for always using the application. Nationwide na po ang reach namin. Uh, ito po yung breakdown namin. Uh, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So yung Visayas Mindanao hinahabol po namin 'yan kasi nag nagka, alam naman po natin nagka-lockdown. Pero bago 'yan, nagpupunta kami sa Cebu, yung last na eyeball namin na tinatawag. So that's where we do a meet and greet ng community members namin. So, uh, we have partnerships as well. Uh kay Eon Expertise sa uh, Eon Group. Si, sila po yung if you're familiar with them, they're a uh, public affairs relationship company, g- digital marketing company. They help us out on our insight on inciting. Si Acreo, so this is handled by Ki Sir Germin. Sila naman po yung industry expertise sa mga food in sa, sa mga food companies. Kasi we have a partnership with them for the ano nga ba tawag doon? For the mystery guest shopper. So sila yung technical part niyan. Na mention ko kanina in the final pitch. So even before that, noong 2019, we've been guesting on different radio shows. Uh, like CNN, sa TV5 for example, TV shows, radio shows, we've been uh, featured in different uh, multimedia outlets like the Manila Bulletin, yung mga survey results namin, particularly nung elections noong 2019, senatorial elections. Kasi yung mga traditional po na poll research companies, bale isang buwan bagong malabas yung sino yung top 12 kami, Weekly, na-release namin yung top 12 namin. Tama naman po yung resulta namin uh, in terms of yung actual pag kinumpare mo yan sa results. So it's very, in terms of accuracy, of course may mga tinatawag na margin of errors yan. Pero almost nagtutugma na yan sa results ng mga traditional. So yun po yung ginagawa namin sa company. So we provide real-time market research for our clients. For our community members, we provide them with incentives. Of course, Aside from incentives, nakagawa natin talaga kami ng community na really thankful sa kanila. Nanonood din sila ngayon. So, hi Rosario, kay, kay Trixie, kay Marites, sa mga nanonood po namin. Shout out sa Katang Hakray community. So, really thankful for, for them again for supporting us, answering our weekly surveys. So, sample weekly surveys na gagawin namin, yun yung papakita ko sa next screen. So noong April 27 to 29, sorry, typo po yan. Ha? April 27 to 29, meron kaming ginawa na survey, 6,222 nation, nationwide respondents siya. Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, may breakdown kami niyan kung saan region ka, ganun. Uh, ang sumagot ng survey about food and restaurant industry. So yung mga tinanong namin is, for example, ito yung findings namin. 
pabor ka ba na buksan uli ang restaurant? Nung panahon na to ECQ pa. So nakita namin hmm, tama, na 7 to 8 eh. out of 10 are in favor of opening restaurants for takeout and deliveries lang. So ginawa namin yung survey na to April 27 to 29. Nung April 30, we already have the results kasi mabilis po yung data namin. Mm-hmm. And ang mapapansin po namin, I'm, what I'm really excited sa mga members po ng community namin, may 6,000 po na sumuporta sa amin for that survey. Mm-hmm. Yun in-express yung opinion nila mm-hmm. for this particular sentiment. So yun yung really what I'm really thankful for. Kasi nalaman po namin yung insights sa mga tao. And in return, of course, makakatulong to sa mga ibang mga kasama natin, particularly po yung mga taga-food industry. They're really greatly affected by the pandemic. So ito yung mga well, questions. Well, as a restaurant yes, owner, yung mga ganyang yes, insight information will help us decide di ba, whether to, to open or not to open di ba, based on the customer's sentiments. Tama ba? Uh, tama po. And I'd also like to, ano, to, to comment kasi I came from the both the client, the brand side as well as the advertising side na pag sinabi kasi ang research yun nga eh, parang bubunuin mo at least few months tapos per person ay, ang gastos di ba? Ganun eh, token per token when you engage mm-hmm. other market research and then by the time the results are out medyo pasu na siya, hindi na siya relevant This is a very commendable tool in terms of getting the pulse of the consumer. And it's very good how Tanghire shows value din dun sa opinions ng community by offering incentives that they actually like. So, great work on this. Especially now, lahat digital, medyo mas mahirap na talagang, di ba yung bahay-bahay dati, di ba may survey form, papasagutan. So, but this one, you you made it uh, the breakthrough. Hey, salamat po, Ms. Cheryl. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And uh, another question. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, as you go through this, later on, because I would like to to share with you also, this one, um, you mentioned you do something for branded research, di ba? So mm-hmm. just share it more more or less. Yung, anong, how much does it usually cost? Because I would like to show you also the, the value that we provide. Yeah. No- normally po sa mga traditional market research companies, mm-hmm. yung of course international sila, they have international rates. Mm-hmm. Yung kanila based on our research sa market, of course, umaabot sila ng, ang cost nila sa mga clients nila are around 1,000 pesos mm-hmm. per respondent. Perfect. Pero that was five years ago. Baka tumaas pa po or bumaba. Kami po, hindi lang po kami aabot sa ganong price. It's, mm-hmm. We're just a quarter ma- basa of the of the price per respondent. So, ang our main value proposition, of course, is mas mabilis, in a day, you get your data, mas madami. Normally, in a traditional research, mga 1.5, 1.2, 2,000 lang yung sumasagot. Swerte yan tayo pag mga 3,000. Kami, we double the data. Although, ang ginagawa namin, medyo technical lang po, uh, it's a non-probability survey, convenience survey. Meaning, Kung sino po yung members na community namin yung available, sila po yung sasagot. Mm-hmm. Pwede yung kasi yung ginagawa ng iba, may mga ano na sila, may pandemic na nga, so random sending. Mm-hmm. So, but what we've proven over the past few weeks sa studies namin is when, when we did a random sampling when versus the non-probability survey, almost same lang po yan eh. Napatunayan din po namin yan kasi may mga ibang companies na naglabas ng results ng survey na hal- almost same lang po ng results namin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ang ganda ng mga insights actually eh. Very uh-huh. relevant sa mga nasa restaurant industry. Whether you're uh, you know an employee or a crew or manager, you you will find all of these insights very relevant. No? Lalo ko in the context ng pecha. Kasi mm-hmm. nung pecha na yan, talagang hindi, hindi pa malinaw eh. No? Pero eto sinasabi natin, no? eto I see numbers like 7 out of 10, which, which means 70%. No, we see numbers like 67 percent, and these are very valuable. Ah, some uh-huh. one of it, nakalagay pa eight out of ten. No, uh, can you can you expound further on these findings, sir? Yes, yes, sige, sir. Uh, let's say for example, nung ginawa kasi namin yung survey na to maga Mother's Day, so ang ginawa po namin yung mga kliyente po namin yung prospect, kaya nung po namin sila ano ba yung gusto nyo malaman? We're going to do it for you, nothing in return for free, kasi gusto po namin we wanted to give back na din sa during that time kasi we're 
hindi naman po kami yung in terms of the effect for the pandemic, medyo okay naman po kami. We were not that uh, greatly affected because online po kami. So we wanted to give back to help them bounce back. So nung Mother's Day, madaming nagpapatanong, especially may mga promo sila nagagawin. Maraming so, salamat, so, yung... sir. Ha? Maraming Ay, salamat sir. dahil isa kami sa mga tinulungan. Ay, oh. <laughs> Mabanggit ko lang, kaya po tayo nagkadugtong-dugtong dito dahil din kay Bukod kay Sir Martin, eh, kay Miss Angela Gloria, no, na Hi, Angela. patuloy na nakikipag-communicate sa amin during the pandemic. No, napakagandang pakinggan. No, tinatanong kami, Sir, how are you? Kamusta na po yung buffaloes? No, and then that led to this guesting. No? And you know, some of the questions were, uh, kami tinanong, ano po ba yung gusto nyong itanong? Dalawang beses, dalawang pagkakataon po kami nahinga ng tanong. No? And I provided some of the questions na nakakatuwa. Nandi dito ngayon yung mga sagot sa harap natin. Yes, sir. Sorry, sorry. No, no problem, Sir Romel. Salamat din po sa tulong nyo. Nakagawa kami ng mga gantong questions. So, yung 8 out of 10, for example, nung panahon na yun, 80% sa bahay lang kakain. Hindi sila mag-dine, uh, hindi sila mag-take out or drive through bahay lang. Tapos, may, of course, may breakdown yan. So, ano ba yung karakteristik ng 8 out of 10 na to? Single, ah, uh, ilang taon na sila, may pamilya na ba sila, may anak. So, yun makikita po yan. Kasama po yun do sa detailed analytics na binibigay po namin. So, ito po nung Mother's Day. Tapos, may, may recent survey kami na ginawa naman nung May 7 to May 9. Uh, ito, ang question naman namin is, is this is a follow-up survey nung, nung ginawa namin nung April. So, isa sa mga insights na nakita namin uh, nung survey na to, nagtanong kami, pag, ito kasi GCQ na ng panahon na to. So pag nagbukas ba yung mga resto sa GCQ, kakain ba kayo? Ang nakita po namin doon, 5 out of 10, kalahati lang, or 1 out of 2 Filipinos, online Filipinos. Ang sabi nila ay, hindi muna ako pupunta sa mga restaurant hanggang hindi pa, wala pang solusyon sa COVID. is either a vaccine or a medicine, gamot, kung ano man yung solusyon na yun. So siguro in, yung insight na nakita namin for GCQ might be okay because ang ang pinapayagan lang naman ng IATF nung panahon na yon is 50% capacity. So you get your 50% there. You have your market there. But yung, again, it's still worrisome because kalahati ng online Filipinos hindi sila kakain sa mga restaurants. But may mga follow-up questions kami diyan na anong gagawin mo? Madami naman sumagot na magpapa-deliver ako. Ito yung budget ko for delivery or mag-take out ako, willing to wait ako sa mga dine-in restos, yun po yung nakita po namin na inside. So after this, i-share po namin sa inyo to, Sir Romel, Ms. Cheryl. So you can freely give this away. Sana makatulong po ito sa mga nanonood dito na owners ng mga restaurants. Yung studies, studies po na ginawa namin. Definitely, so, makatulong yan. Makatulong yes, sir. And the sample size, Cheryl, uh, share. Cheryl, <laughs> Nakita mo yung sample size, tama yung sinabi niya. No? Usually, oh, you, only, you only have 1, 2, you only have 1, 5, at most 2,000. Pero yeah. ito, 6,000 nationwide respondents. 6,000 in, di ba? Agad-agad in real time. So, tarang, so kahit ako that, na pa. More than that, no, Sherry and Romel, yung quality ng 6,000 yun is representative of the actual uh, representation per region ng buong Pilipinas. Kaya, tama, kung, tama. reality yun. So, kung ilan mm -hmm. ba, o kung ilang porsyento ba yung NCR, Halos yeah. ganun palapit yung porsyento ng, ng respondents ng 6,000 na yun. Kumbaga, you broke through the boundaries of the archipelago. Kumbaga. Kasi ganyan lagi yung ano, explanation sa amin as clients from brand before na parang um, mat matatagalan tayo sa mga results sa Visayas, matatagalan tayo ng results sa Mindanao kasi hindi pa namin napapadala yung mga res uh, researchers doon. But this one is real time which is a big big wow. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> right, mga yung yes, sinabi mo kayo na breakthrough, breakthrough yung ganyang ano yun, yung service mm -hmm. nitong si Nila Martin no, itong Tanghere. Si real time, lalo yung mga brand people, no, tayo, ano ba, mga customer tayo no, sa mga brand people. Yes. Ito sa pinaka-importante sa atin yung time to market. Oo, eh. oh, oh. uh, brand people, everything I need yesterday. <laughs> correct. Kahit mga dalawang linggo na yan, panis na yung, ano na yan, yung, yung informasyon na yan. Kung real time, mm -hmm. wow, that's Well, especially sa panahon ngayon, because as you see, no, Napagod na yung tao sa kakatawag ng new normal. Kasi na-realize nila that every day a new normal is unfolding. So the, 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 the normal is actually shaping up every day. Correct. So it's not, a, it's not an event that we're waiting to, to happen. No? Hindi ganun. No? So tama kayo yung speed. 
no yung speed ng availability of the information and nakakatuwa kasi a lot of our viewers are aspiring as i mentioned earlier aspiring restaurant owners in the you know in the future but some of them are current restaurant owners also and are working in the restaurant industry as leaders and managers napakahalaga po ng information binanggit po natin niya sa nakaraang tatlo hanggang apat na episode you know information plus experience is equal to insight then pag may insights ka saka ka lang magdi-decide Karamihan po sa atin, no, no, nag-knee-jerk tayo, tumatalod ka agad tayo sa decision, and worse, tumay-diretso ka agad tayo sa action. No? Even yung naging topic natin about franchising, di ba? Share, naalala mo, di ba? Yung iba, nagpa-franchise without you know, having the right information, yeah. the right amount of information, and without asking yung mga taong merong experience. So ngayong no gabi, <laughs> validated, no, sinasabi dito, no, from the customer's voice, ika nga, no, sa voices ng mga customers, no, napaka-interesante. Sige po, Sir Martin, pagpatuloy po natin yung ating <laughs> presentation. Sorry, Sorry, sa baka may excited, eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Shoutout nga pala kay Anna, kay Nona, and kay Bet. Et, etong ginawa ni Eon's really interesting. So dito sa study, nalaman namin sa isang household, average naman natin apat hanggang anim na tao. They're willing to spend minimum 50 pesos. One out of four of them willing to spend 50 pesos per person and 83, per, 83 pesos maximum per person for food delivery. So kung apat sila, five to six for example, four to six, so, kung they're willing to spend 50 pesos minimum, that's 300 pesos. Yun yung worth of orders that they're willing to spend on food delivery. Pero, despite this, despite yung may mga families the willing to do food deliveries, medyo may mga kinakabahan pa din pag nagpapadeliver. Actually, kasama na ako dito. Kahit ito, papadeliver ako ng pagkain sa specific restaurant na to, gagawin mo na namin ng asawa ko, lilinisin... Uh, ilalagay mo namin sa isang corner ng pagkain, kuha kami ng konting wipes, ipupunasan namin yung yung kainan. So may mga may mga Filipinos pa din na ganun, may hesitant pa din sila mag-food delivery because of course the virus can be spread with, uh, with via plastics for example. So yun po yung nakita namin sa insights dun sa study na to held nung May 7 to May 9. Uh, madami pa po kaming studies na i-share po namin sa inyo sa Resto Coach as our appreciation for having us here na sana mas, uh, makatulong po sa ibang mga companies na kakalala nyo, restaurant owners, hindi lang po restaurant, even sa yung pinaka nadulungkot ako na study, yung ginawa namin sa hotel and airlines, that's where in nakita namin dito na for 2020, isa sa sampung Pilipino lang, online Pilipinos lang, yung magka-travel, whether it's locally or internationally for 2020. 13% lang yung, for example, yung mag-check-in sa mga hotels dahil sa takot na sa virus, of course, ngayon 2020. Yung iba hindi pa mag-check-in hanggang wala pang, ba- wala pang gamot or luna sa COVID-19. So yun po, i-share po namin yung mga insights sa na nakita namin. Well, dito sa slide na to, I'd like to, ano, if, you, if I may, no, I'd like yes, to sir. highlight one thing. No? Napakaganda nung binanggit dito, the food and restaurant businesses have been more competitive, especially during this crisis, with small food businesses ramping up their game and big food businesses trying to survive. The Filipino mindset is now looking to solid option, no value, no more than ever. No? Uh, quality plus quantity, napakagandang insight po niyan sa ating mga resto negosyantes. Quality plus quantity are top considerations among consumers, no? And cost friendliness is the name of the game, no? Mm-hmm. Hindi lang cost kundi pati yung value, no? As equated as in relation with value, these are surfacing as the common factors to stay relevant and be thriving in the food industry. So na na, na kung bago mo may ka ng negosyo sa restaurant industry, anjan ng sagot, no? Galing mm-hmm. sa survey among 5,945 nationwide respondents. Mm-hmm. And ang gusto ko dito sa konsepto ng Tangere, no? and that's why I think it won also during the, the, the final pitch. No? Because uh, as I mentioned, mga kaibigan ko naman from the technology sector na nakakwentuhan ko minsan, sabi ko, alam mo, magandang tulong talaga ngayon is affordable technology. No? Ito, affordable customer insight for those who are just starting out. No? Kasi yung mga dating presyo ng survey, nakaka- Lula. Parang yun na yung mismo yung puna mo sa negosyo, doon na lang mapupunta. No? So, ito is very, very nice. no And I, I, later on, I will expound on this. Quality plus quantity, value, and all of these concepts 
put together. Sige po, Sir Martin, pagpatuloy po natin. Salamat po, Sir Romel. So, yun po yung mga insights na nakuha namin sa mga surveys namin. Uh, dagdagan ko lang po yung sinabi nyo. Nala- ngayong panahon na to, nalaman namin na yung concept ng brand loyalty, wala na eh. Kung ano yung available sa'yo for that situation, let's say for example, sa sabon na to, ito yung palagi mong brand na binibili. Pag ni siya available sa tindahan, anong gagawin mo? Pupunta ka ba sa ibang tindahan? Bibili ka ba ng ibang brand? Bibili ka ba online? Majority, bibili ng ibang brand. So kung ano yung available, hindi, yun yung kukunin nila. So yung concept ng brand loyalty, yun yung napansin namin sa mga studies sa na ginawa namin na almost nawala na sa panahon na to. In, uh, in relation dun sa insights po. Yeah, yun yung mga nalaman po namin. Of course, again, hindi po ako professional market research. May mga professional market research uh, experts po kami na nag-advise po sa amin ng mga gano'n. Mm-hmm. Well, tama ma- ka, no? Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Pagpuling ko yung comment mo ng quality versus quantity, no? Yung cost effectiveness. Uh, as a consultant, I would like to uh, caution yung mga nakikinig natin ng mga restaurant owners. Don't be quick to just uh, uh, having a, a plan or strategy na ibaba mo agad yung presyo mo. Kasi I think Sir Romel is quick to point out that it's really value, not just low price. Hindi niya sinabing low price. Eh. Magkaibang magkaiba po yun. No? Mamaya, pag nabigyan tayo ng pagkakataon, meron tayong didiscuss. No? Kung paano natin titignan yung perspective ng customer, kung ano yung valuable sa kanya. Kasi karaniwan, sinasabi natin yung produkto natin tamang-tama sa customer. Pero may, madalas may nakakaligtaan, nakakaligtaan tayong i-consider eh meron siyang mga tatlong bagay na ini- iniisip sa produkto mo eh para ma-determine niya kung anong valuable sa kanya na kaya niya gusto niyang bayaran yun. Diba? Tama. Tama. Willing siyang bayaran yun. Kaya tama yung pinuhinta ko yung Sir Romel is really value. Mm-hmm. Yung babayaran, hindi low price. Mm-hmm. Mas malalim pa yan kaysa sa cost-benefit, no? Because oh, yeah. yung de- definition of value, paliliwanag mamaya ni Brother Germin yan eh. Sige po, <laughs> tuloy po natin. Salamat Sir Germin. So, Uh, I'll just fast forward this slide. Uh, ito, fast forward ko na din po in the interest of time. So, ang nakikita po namin, of course, may, may uh, part, part po kami ng mega global corporation as one of our investors. So, in a way, sa app, na-promote din po yung mga produkto sa kanya. Uh, other questions po na hinahandle namin, hindi lang kami yes or no. Of course, may multi-select. Ang gusto ko po yung open-ended kasi pwede kang magsalita sa mic. Tapos sabihin mo yung nasa sa loob din mo. Yun ang gusto ah, ko sa... Ah, quotable quotes. Okay, yun. Ah. Ganda yun. Ah. Okay. Sounds so, like sigana. So, namin Bisaya. Kung gusto magsalita ng Bisaya, okay lang. O Tagalog, mm-hmm. English. What they're comfortable. Yeah, yun po yung sa open-ended questions namin. So, yung isa, katawaan lang ginawa namin last week. Kasi we also do current events. So, if familiar po kayo what happened sa ABS-CBN hearing, nung pinag-recite mm-hmm. ni... Si oh, Panatang Makabayan. Gabi Lopez na Panatang Makabayan. So we also did the same thing. Pinag-recite namin na Panatang Makabayan yung Ay, mga members mag- namin. <laughs> so okay naman. Uh, 9 out of 10, alam nila yung ano, fill in the blanks yun. So alam naman ah, nila okay. yung mga blank questions. Eh, ito na lang, yung maybe for my last slide. So ang pinakagusto ko talaga dito sa ginawa po namin Sir Germin as a proof of concept to one restaurant, nalaman namin dito na yung insights talaga ng customer yung mahalaga. Kasi itong si particular restaurant na to, for example, medyo technical yung ginagawa nila dati. So hindi na napapansin na yung sa point of view ng consumer, hindi siya ganong kaaya-aya, for example, yung plating. So dito nagulat sila, oh, ang ganda ng plating ko based sa technical points. Pero kung nakita ng mga consumers namin, na, well, this one is not Instagramable, hindi ko naman share sa Facebook to. So mababa yung points naman ng actual consumers. So yun po yung insights na nalaman namin. Of course, papasok po dito yung team ni Sir Germin. They will do the technical analysis. Na kasi kami, consumer point of view. Of course, kailangan pa din ng mga, ng mga restaurant industries yung sa, uh, ano naman po, yung sa technical, yung uh, plating, whatsoever, yung taste. So sila naman po yung bahala doon. I guess that's for my last slide. Thank you for listening to me. Uh, I'll stop sharing now. I'll turn you over again to Sir Romel and Ms. Cheryl. May tanong ako, Martin. Yes, Kanina nakalimutan ko yung tanong. Actually, ano to, importante. Why Opo. why call your company Tanger eh? Ay, sige po. Um, <laughs> yeah, ano po yan eh? Galing po yan sa Noli Metanger eh. Yes. Mm-hmm. No, Noli Metanger. Sorry, Gabine. Eh. <laughs> sa sa mm-hmm. Noli Metanger eh. So, 
it's uh it's to touch kasi in a way it's a play on words na kasi to use the app you need to touch the app like okay. like swipe left swipe right or touch this particular button to vote and at the same time we're also touching the lives of our respondents so ang pinaka gusto ko din talaga sa amin for example yung natutuwa ako pag nag message sila kasi yung phone number ko mismo yung nakalagay sa app kahit tingnan niyo po yung support nam- number namin email ko sa number ko mismo yung nandoon So kaya yung mga members po ng Tanghari community, uh, almost kalahating milyon na po kami, ang ginagawa po nila, minsan nagtitanks sa akin, pag, kahit manalo sila ng pag-top fans, 50 pesos, 100 pesos, salamat Boss Martin, salamat, uh, may pambili na ako, for example, nanalo 500, may pambili na akong gatas ni Baby. So in a way, we're touching the lives of our respondents sa mga surveys namin, they can express their opinions, and sa mga prices po namin. Ah, nice. Instead of touch me not, eh, talaga yeah. ito, touching. <laughs> yeah. Saka, speaking of empowerment, di ba, sabi nga natin kanina, empowerment. This is actually a new form of empowerment. No, It's not just having your voice heard no, the, kaysa mag-comment-comment ka lang sa social media. Dito, meron ka talagang participation sa isang ano, no, relevant discourse, timely and relevant discourse. Which I, ako personally, yung pinopromote ko, eh, no? kung yung energy natin to comment on social media can be put into can be channeled into something like this no which can empower entrepreneurs and resto negotiantes like you know kami no? Na, uh, that's why we're working with Tangi River prior to covid ano na kami eh, nag nag-uusap na kami nito and talagang very interesting yung kanilang insight coming from the perspective of somebody who started the business last si in on 2009 no noon talagang maghahagilap ka lang eh kumbaga ano lang siya eh talagang Suntok sa buwan. Ito ngayon, mayroong mga powerful tools gaya ng Tangere at mga collaborators na magagamit ng ating mga resto negosyante para yung hindi siya trial and error. No? Mayroong ayong input ng customer feedback. So bago tayo lumalim ng lumalim, no? gusto ko, kasi karugtong neto yung presentation ni Sir Jermin, no? ni Brother Jermin. Sige, Sir Jermin, tuloy niyo po. Ang punto. Uh, yung sinabi natin kanina, no? yung yung value no yung value na na gusto ng customer hindi yung ano hindi yung cost ang kanilang hindi pinagtotoonan cost. kundi yung hey, value o oh. kung, kung cost lang yan pababanan ng presyo eh sabay-sabay tayong babagsak yan hindi ganoon eh no so we we were talking about value map yung pagka nagsimula ng negosyo ang mga restaurant owners no Padalasan, nung sisimulain, magandang produkto namin. May siguradong mga bibenta to. Masarap ito. Tatangkilikin ang mga ng market yan. Uh, ang kadalasan naman, nahihinto na doon. Dahil masyado tayong may inlove sa produkto natin. And this is true to, not just to restaurants, no? but to most uh, startups, to most products. We're so in love with our products. We're so in love with our uh, service. Now we tend to ignore kung ano yung kapangangailangan ng customer. And very helpful yan. No? So tingnan nyo yung balikan ni mga research ni Tanghere. Nagsisimula yan sa takot ng customer. Eh, diba? Alamin natin kung saan ang gagaling yung takot. Sinabi mga wala ng brand loyalty. Bakit? Okay? May mga nabago. Sinasabi natin yung normal, yung normal lagi. Araw-araw yung normal. Pagandaan natin kung ano yung next normal. Yung next normal dapat pukawin natin. Palisin natin yung, yung takot ng customer. Di ba? And to know that, alamin mo kung ano yung gusto ng customer. Yung gusto ng customer, malalaman mo lang yan kung ma-obsess ka dun sa customer. Sabi na Amazon, di ba, customer, customer obsession. Ang ganda ng mantra nila, eh, customer obsession. Eh. Talagang intimate knowledge of customer needs. And uh, ito, ginagawa ko to sa mga workshop na uh, binibay ko sa mga kliyente. This is part of uh, yung gawa, Sir, Sir Romel, if, if you remember, yung gawa ni Alex Oster Warden, yung, yung, ano, no, yung uh, business model canvas. Mm-hmm. Kasi yung part nun, yung value proposition canvas, it's a, it's a deep dive into the customer requirements, kung ano gusto ng customer requirements, at kung nasasagot ba yun ng produkto mo. Customers have something that they want to do, pero habang gusto niyang gawin yun, meron din siyang gustong maramdaman. Halimbawa, pupunta sa customer, ano yung gusto niyang gawin? Yun yung practical function niya eh, or functional job. Gusto niyang kumain, di ba? Pero bukod sa gusto niyang kumain, meron din siyang gustong maramdaman. Ano yun? Gusto niyang maging secured. Dahil takot nga siya eh. Paano siya lalabas at kakain? Takot siya. Hindi niya alam kung ano mangyari. Baka mahawa siya. Very important yun. No? 
So anong po pwede mong gawin? Eh, ang primary mo lang, hindi kakain. Hindi ka naman pwede mag-serve doon. So I, I appreciate oh, a lot of customers, a lot of restaurants ngayon, naglalagay ng harang, naglalagay ng face, face shield. Okay? But to a certain extent, hindi mo matatanggal talaga yung takot ng mga customer. Di ba? So alamin natin kung ano yung pinatatakot ng customer ngayon. Madaling isipin, oh, natatakot siya. Natatakot lumabas, natatakot mag-park, natatakot na merong katabi. Natatakot na merong contact. So anong pwede mong gawin? Pwede bang mag-cashless na lang payment? Pakita ko na lang, may GCash naman ngayon, di ba? May mga PayMy. Yung ibang restaurants, ganun ang ginagawa, ilagay nyo lang yung pera mo dyan pag nagda-drive to ka, walang contact. Very good. Okay. Then, meron susunod, no? Ano naman yung, ito yung pangatlo. Ano yung image na gusto mo i-portray? Kahit ngayon, gusto mo pa rin may image kang gusto i-portray, di ba? Ano yung gusto maging relevant? Meron pa rin mga customer o karamihan Habang tumatangkilik sila ng ibang restaurant o ibang produkto, makikita mo sa Facebook, pinagmamalaki pa rin nila, o oh, tumutulong ako sa mga small communities dito, doon lang ako bumipili. They still want to be relevant. They still want to be seen as somebody who is socially responsible, uh, tumutulong sa mga maliliit na negosyo. So that's very important. So if you look at what the customer wants to do, wants to feel, and how they want to be portrayed as an image, how do you look at that? So if itatahi ko doon sa practical na ano, ano, na tip naman. Ano. So, paano masasagutin yung image na gusto nila portray And this is debatable, no? Maraming mga restaurants ayaw maglagay ng wifi. Bakit? Kasi magtatagal yung customer doon. Eh. Eh, ayaw nga nila magtagal sa restaurant mo, eh, di ba? So, sasabihin mo, ba't kailangan ng wifi? Hindi ba masama mag, mag, magbukas sila ng kanilang smartphone? mag-check-in sa Facebook. Nandito ako ngayon sa Buffalo Swings and Things. Ay, pwede ko ba i-plug yun? Pwede, pwede. pwede. Okay. <laughs> Nandito ako sa Buffalo Swings and Things. Nakapila ako. Umu-order ko. Hinihintay ko yung... Umu-order ako ng, ng, ano, ng chicken wings kasi gusto ng anak ko. Okay? Hindi sila magtatagal dun. Eh. So you don't have to worry about them spending so much time na walang maupuan yung ibang tao. So yung social aspect ng gusto nilang gawin, nasagot mo pa rin. Kasi alam mo naman, I would say, di ba, arguably, maybe 9 times out of 10, 9 out of 10 Filipinos or or customers are glued to their smartphones and glued to their social media accounts. So if we're able to do that and we'll find out ano ba yung pains and gains na gusto nila, ano yung pinatatakot nila, ano yung sakit sa kanila, ayaw nila lumabas, ayaw nila mag-park. Ang gusto nila, mag, yung customer, may gains pa rin silang gusto mangyari. Hindi masama na meron pa silang loyalty points na nakukuha. Every now and then, may freebies pa rin makukuha. But of course, ang challenge, gusto niya na nga, magtasang ano yung, uh, cost-effective effect. Nga, di ba? So how are we going to do that? Well, that is a challenge for us restaurant operators and restaurant owners. So try to look at that and look at your product. Your product and service, your restaurant. Do you solve the problems of your customers? Are you able to enhance their image? And are you creating a need for them? In creating a need meaning, dito kayo kailangan yung kumain ng something out of your kitchen. Pwede nyo pa rin gawin. Now, how do we communicate that? That's our challenge. And if the product features, uh, yung restaurant features na meron tayo, may Wi-Fi, kahit 30 minutes lang, merong Wi-Fi. It relieves some pain, it gives some some gains as well. May freebies pa rin kayo, meron pa rin kayong makukuha ng mga mga libreng soft drinks or whatever, no? Meron pa rin kayong makukuha ng mga ganun. Then you'll be able to communicate na there are some deliverables that are still available in your part. So the point is, takot yung customer eh. How do we appease them? And this is one thing that I would like for us, no? for us restaurant owners and restaurant operators, yung mga nagsimula na magsisimula pa lang ang gusto mag-grow. Pay attention to our customers. And if I will, I will borrow the, the, the tip oh, of our uh, common friend, Sir Romel, si Professor Elfrone Domingo. Mm -hmm. niya, what, what is worse than losing cash is losing customers. Kahit tipiri mo ng tipiri niyan, huwag na yung wifi, mahal yan. Huwag ka na maglagay ng harang-harang, mahal yan. Kasi pinipreserve mo yung cash. Pero pag hindi na nagpunta yung customer mo, wala nang pupuntahan yung cash mo. So in relation to the findings of Sir uh, 
Martin here, I think the underlying message is that how do we appease the fear of our customers? Na, yes, you can go out. It's not as usual, but yes, you can. And there are factors that we will that will help you feel better and you'll be more comfortable and more confident in going out. Yan po, yun ang aking may share sa atin. Galing. Galing. Mm-hmm. Sige, share. Ano bang mga, baka you have any questions to our guests no? before we let them go as we share our learnings for the week. Ano bang mga tanong mo? Meron ka bang katanungan sa kanila? Actually, ano, ano sila eh, preaching to the choir eh. I actually believe in, ano eh, ka-marketing um, followers nyo ako in terms of finding, I'm really happy na more and more, uh, there are more tools for brands and um, agencies and even restaurant owners and, and aspired na naririnig nila yung boses ng customer. Minsan sasabihin natin parang sinasabi, oh naman nakikinig naman ako. Pero they don't know how important it is at any point. Minsan kasi nakikinig lang sila pag hindi na maganda yung numero eh. Pag hindi na maganda yung PNL. Pag maganda, okay lang yan. Tapos biglang one of these days, they'll wonder, what happened? We were doing so well. So I, I, I commend your efforts to make sure that this is still relevant. And day in, day out, marami ng, especially on, on, on social media as well as on technology, naiiba lang naman actually yung terms. But it's still the customer's voice. And the good thing is that um, technology is making it real-time, which is the, the, the breakthrough portion. Because lahat ng tao ngayon are very time-starved and very maini, mainipin. <laughs> yeah. Well, sa akin, ang, ang mga, ang dahil kong naisulat sa ano, masarap talaga pag gaya mga guests mo, ganito ka, ano, insightful, ika nga. Ano. So, mm-hmm. I, I wrote down several things, but I'd like to share with our audience yung number one, no, yung belief ko na na-validate ngayong gabi. Yung customer feedback, no, parang pananaw ko kasi may mga iba't ibang way to get customer feedback. And uh, I'm, I'm happy, no, I cannot overemphasize yung, yung uh, pagiging blessed natin ngayong mga resto negosyantes. Dahil meron ng tanghere, katulad ng tanghere na it's very accessible, it's very, uh, you know, reasonable, reasonably uh, priced, no, and, and, you know, the investment is so worth it. Uh, considering the speed of uh, response and also the sample size. No? But sa akin, no, ito, i-share ko naman from my experience, the product mix, no? para sa mga current resto negosyantes na, ang pinakamahalagang insight na makukuha nyo ay inyong product mix. O ano yung mga products na binibili ng customer sa inyo? Because yung, yung, yung sagot doon, binayaran nila yun. Eh. It's what they actually spent for. No? Number two, yung, yung kahalagahan ng store interactions. No? Ngayon, na miss natin bigla yan yung ability to do table visits no the ability to interact with our customers ta kaya nga yung tagline ng, ng post ng Buffalo's for this week we missed you no and talagang na miss namin yung customers no because ngayon iba eh merong parang ano no merong napakalayong distansya iba yung delivery orders sa dine in and take out orders eh, no and then lastly no it will also reflect in your transaction counts natutuwa ako sa mga data na pinakita kanina kasi April 27 to 29 May 7 to 9. And yung mga pinakita mong resulta, Boss Martin, ano yun? Ah, nagre-reflect ng naging resulta ng aming mga tindahan. In terms of delivery sales, takeout sales, no? percentage of dining sales. No? And last, uh, itong June, very interesting kung meron kayong survey na gagawin. Because we reopened to dine-in just last ano eh, no? Monday, June 15. No? So napaka-interesante ng nagiging resulta. Nakikita ko yung, ano, no? yung insights nyo kanina eh, napapatango ako sapagkat it, uh, it is reflected in the realities of restaurants ngayon. So, magpasalamat tayo sa ating mga bisita, Cher. Thank you very much po, Thank Boss Martin. Thank you so much. Benjamin, yeah. mukhang mau- mauulit kayo dito. Salamat. Mm-hmm. Okay lang ba? Okay lang ba? Of course. <laughs> Marami pang pwedeng pagkwentuhan, Sir. Mm-hmm. Kasi what we plan to do is to formulate more questions that are going to be helpful para sa ating mga resto negosyantes and of course with the with the uh, graciousness of ating uh, si Boss Martin and si yeah. Sir Jermaine, no, kung pwede niyo uling tulungan kami sagutin. So ngayong gabi, no, as we say goodbye to our guests, maraming 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 salamat po muli. God bless you. No? 
Uh, tatalakayin natin yung ating pangwakas sa ating programe. Ano yung top 3 learnings mo share ngayong linggo? Actually, meron ako top 30. Ang dami. <laughs> <laughs> Ang dami. But actually, I'll just reiterate one point you've raised a while ago that the importance of um, getting generals who can help you out um, to, to Martin's point. I also like to highlight the part where um, nagkaroon talaga ng importance of a win-win situation. In, in what way? Real-time insights and bad, on the side of the um, restaurant owners or, or clients and valuable incentives pagdating dun sa, sa opinion. Kasi minsan, di ba, tanong lang ng tayong, tanong tayo, pero there's value in opinion. So you provide that value, Martin, in Tangere by providing them yung trips, yung mga gusto nilang prices. So yung mix na yun naging, naging breakthrough. And speaking of breakthrough, I like what you also said, um, um, Romel, when you said, posible ang affordable technology married with personal touch. Akala kasi natin cold lang eh, na parang, ay, pag online lang yan, walang, walang personal touch. Now more than ever, we understand, especially in COVID, that it's possible. It's possible to be connected even if we're just online. Especially for Filipinos, na top social media users of the world. And then, um, last but definitely not the least would be listening to the customer's voice. Where this insight, hindi lang knowledge, dapat insight, kasi na-process na siya, is power. I like what um, Sir Jermin said about being intimate and obsessed with your customer. Because at the end of the day, if your customer is happy, your business is happy. Sabi nga nung ating paboritong pantalon, Sir Jermin, no, it never goes out of style. No? Without, promo <laughs> without promoting the brand, yung customer centricity, no, naging ano na yan, eh, lumawig na, lumaki na, no? And it's customer experience, centricity, no? ang daming iba-ibang tawag. At the end of it, you have to understand the value of knowing what the customers want, what the customers need. Not just, not just as products, no? Babalik tayo sa Maslow's hierarchy of needs, eh, no? Yung yeah. need for, ano, no? For, yung, sa, kanina, nabanggit. It's actually they're looking for feelings, no? Emotional yes. connection, no? Values and value marketing, yun yung... I mean, tinatagawin ngayon sa Buffalo Swings and Things. No? Now, more, now, more than ever, it's not just about the product. It's about your connection with the customers no? in terms of you know, just being there for them. No? Emotionally, physically. No? Kasi nga, physically distant tayo. So, dapat socially connected tayo. So, yeah. again, maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga bisita. No? We hope na... Oo. Oh, at uh, again, no? papalista ko na kayo ngayon. Ha? i ko na kayo sure. on the air na... Maulit tayo, magpo-formulate ulit tayo ng mas magandang tanong. I'd like to take this opportunity to greet lahat ng mga bi mga binati natin kanina from, sabi nga ni sir, from the Tangheri community. Maraming salamat po. Sana mawili po kayo sa panonood nitong The Resto Coach. It's free information, free insights, and more than anything, it's a get-together every week, every Tuesday po tayo, 8.30. Sa mga nanonood, sorry na ko, hindi ko po kayo mababati ngayong gabi. Pero itong tita ko, baka magalit sa akin, babatiin natin. Tita, <laughs> Tita Banji Tison, no? yan Doc Tison. Mula sa Bataan po ito, Rani Bataan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga nanonood dyan. Mga OFW natin kaibigan, no? Ramil Rodriguez, of course, Vince Blanco, Jude Sanger, si Christian Manuel, nagsa-apologize dahil na-late daw siya ngayong gabi. <laughs> si Kevin, si Linel, si Dave, si Bianca, si Darwin, no? maraming 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 salamat po. Jim Senon, of course, from Yellow Cab. No, OFW rin, Mr. Victor Mempin and sa iba pang dumadami na nating tagapanood, Master Jake Alcid maraming maraming salamat po and I leave you with the words no, na, na tayo po ngayon na interconnected tayong lahat no? magkakaugnay po tayo so collaboration as you saw tonight we are from different industries share from marketing in a way Tangere is also marketing but also technology no? and of course Sir Jeremy and I we came from you know the same parang pareho ng history pareho po ng storya at lahat po tayo dito sa Resto Coach, I'm pretty sure meron po tayo kanya-kanyang storya. At tuloy po natin i-share ang ating mga storya. We encourage our viewers to send in their questions, to send in their stories. No? Kagaya ni, ni Ian Manuel, nag, nag-request siya ng mga topic, please continue to do so. Because hindi po namin ito show. Show po natin lahat to. This is the first and only show about the restaurant business made by people from the restaurant industry. No? Hindi po siya culinary-centric lang, kundi marami po tayong pinag-uusapan na relevant sa buhay natin. No? Kanina pati show business, nabanggit yung Sharon Coneta. Paborito ko pong artista yan, si Sharon Coneta. Sharon yan, Karmala. Oo, lalo, lalo, lalo pa nung magkasama sila ni Gabby Concepcion. <laughs> so, 
Maraming maraming salamat po. Sorry. Babalikan na lang natin yung topic. Sobrang excited ako ngayon. Pero pero we have to go. And uh, alam ko maraming pa po kayong gagawin. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay optimistic. Maraming salamat po. Yeah, culinary service lang po. Maraming po tayong pinag